If you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. I post every day at nine, Monday through Friday, so check me out. But jumping right into this, okay? So what is wrong with the UFC? I already made a part one to this video, check that out. Uh, I made it like two years ago, but in this video, I'm covering different topics. So basically, I believe every single fighter dedicates their entire life, man or woman. They dedicate their entire life to becoming a great fighter. And what the UFC has done and is capitalizing on is these people who are in love with competing and they do not have business sense. A lot of them do not have good business sense. A lot of them don't know how to promote. A lot of them don't know how to negotiate a contract. They just know like punches and kicks, takedowns and chokes. Like they feed the youngest guys to the wolves. You know what I mean? Like Darren Till, I don't I believe Darren Till should have never fought for a title. They should they should still be building Darren Till's name. Okay, because he could be having some crazy fights and where he would probably win and he would be getting a huge payday. Does that make sense? Like if, if Darren never fought for the title, I believe he fought for the title way too early. Like way, way too soon. They need they need to spend more time building each individual fighter. Let the fighter like come into their own. Like Kevin Lee's a good example. I think Kevin Lee, they threw Kevin Lee to the wolves way too early. And now every single fight he has is one of the most dangerous fights in the world. It's, a one, it's against one of the most dangerous fighters. There's so little room for error. These men who dedicate their lives to this company, or you gotta think, this is a this is a business. This is like a nine to five. You have to think of it like a nine to five. They're treating their employees like shit. They really treat their these men and women who dedicate every aspect of their life. Their children's lives revolve around their fight career. Does that make sense? Like everything revolves Fighting is such a selfish sport that like you have to you have to use a lot of resources to become good. A lot of these fighters are full, fighting full time. I believe if you get a UFC contract, it should be like, okay, now I can focus on fighting. Now I am at least at the very least taken care of like for the duration of my contract. I should be able to put food on the table, pay my rent, and uh, have uh, my managers and trainers and my full staff, and be able to uh, have some money, have spending money, and save and a savings account. 401k health insurance this is how it should be the ufc doesn't offer uh health insurance they don't offer yeah they help out some of their fighters they do these they do these like these show tactics to make it seem like they care like oh i'll give out four bonuses today like bro the fact that the fact that your fighters have to like they have to fight for a bonus like, you think anyone would take a night off because there wasn't a bonus on the line it's just it's just tactics to make everybody be like oh they do care about us they do care about the company but they don't they, they absolutely don't they feel everybody's replaceable so what the ufc could do is they could have these young prospects like darren Till or the people that generally would shoot up the rankings in three fights and fight for the title okay the, the reason why everybody wants to fight for the title so quickly is because that's how you get paid all right if they were getting paid a living wage they wouldn't need the title all right, they would be focused on becoming the best so that they can obtain the title, become the best fighter, and maintain the title for as long as possible, I think. Maybe not everybody has the same mindset as me. The fact that a fighter is paid $15,000 for a fight is in the UFC and it's televised and it's on pay-per-view or it's on ESPN is ridiculous. That is absolutely absurd. I, I know the work. I personally know the work it takes to become amateur level. Amateur level. I've never fought for money, okay? To become a professional, bro, must be must be terrible. It must be absolutely terrible. What ends up happening is you have these older fighters like Chuck Liddell and Tito Ortiz who continue fighting well past their prime, and they're just doing damage to their body. They just need a payday, and they like they, they just they, they ruin their body. Athletes going broke is no is no new phenomenon, but I think the way they treat their fighters, they like if they treated their fighters better, they'd have more stars. They'd have they'd have more stars, more big fights, and more more money in their pocket. So if you guys like that video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell so you get notifications. I post every day at nine. But until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.